If you've ever felt messy or lazy or hopeless when it comes to home organization, it's not you, it's not your fault. You are not failing, your system is failing. You don't have to change yourself, you just have to adapt your home to work with the way you naturally organize. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you one closet organized four different ways so you can really see what works best for you. Basically, your organizing style breaks down to how you naturally sort and how you naturally store your things. So I want you to ask yourself, are you a really detailed person? Do you love lots of categories? Are you a bit of a perfectionist or are you more laid back? Do you need more simple, broad categories when it comes to organization? So are you detailed or are you non-detailed? And the other half is, are you visual or do you prefer hidden storage? So are you visual, like out of sight, out of mind? You wanna see your everyday stuff. This doesn't mean you love looking at clutter, but it does mean that you forget about things sometimes when they're behind closed doors. Or are you craving visual simplicity? Do you want all of your stuff hidden away in closets or in baskets so that you can't see it? Knowing this combination, whether you're detailed or not detailed, and visual or hidden, that makes up your Clutterbug style. And I've given them cute little bug names so that you can really identify which works for you. And I'm gonna start by organizing this closet for a butterfly. A butterfly is a visual organizer that needs big, broad categories. So the perfect solution is going with clear bins that are large that have no lids. You don't want to have a lid as a butterfly because it's all about being able to toss your things back in. So you use the soap, you're done with it, you just quickly put it back in. You don't have to stop and think about organization. It needs to be visual, but also really easy. So here are some of my favorite tips for organizing for a butterfly. If you're a butterfly, you need simple. You are in the habit of leaving things out, piling when you're done with something, you usually just put it down instead of putting it away because you're visual and you need simple solutions. So your organization needs to be simple. That's lots of big containers, no lids, make sure it's clear or wire so it's just as easy to put it down as it is to put it away. And if you're really struggling, take off your closet doors, have open shelving so that everything is so visual, so easy to see and even easier to put away. All of the containers I use to organize this closet are from the container store and I love these big clear bins for butterflies. I'm gonna put a link down below so you can learn more about these containers. And now let's organize this closet for a cricket. A cricket is a hidden organizer that loves small, detailed categories. So the perfect organizing system is to go with stacked, solid bins. You have to have lids so you can put one on top of each other. You can have lots of small categories and get really detailed. But the big difference between a cricket and a bee is that all the detailed organization is inside the bins where you can't see it. Here are some of my favorite tips for organizing for a Cricut. A Cricut is a traditional organizer, so the truth is any system really works for them. They are very organized. They like things perfectly put away, but that doesn't mean that they're perfectly tidy or organized. Crickets have a tendency, because they're perfectionists, to wait till they can do it properly. They have procrastination piles all over their home, and if they're not done with something, they tend to leave it out before putting it away. My biggest tip for a cricket is to embrace good enough. 
let go of the idea of doing it perfectly and just create good enough homes for your stuff today, you can always go back and make it perfect later. I love the containers I used for this closet. They're all from the container store and I'm gonna put a link down below, but now let's organize this same closet for a bee. A bee is a visual organizer that needs small detailed categories. So the perfect organizing tool are clear stackable containers and lazy Susans so you can really get detailed and be a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to your organization but still see everything at a glance. A bee is different than a butterfly because a butterfly might have one container for dental but a bee would want to sort into toothpaste and toothbrushes and dental floss. They definitely love all the little categories whereas a butterfly needs one big one. My favorite tips for organizing for a bee is to declutter. More than any other organizing style, bees have a really hard time letting go. I think that's because they're visual, but they're also really logical perfectionists. So they're struggling with that emotional and that sort of mental, I need to keep this because, and so they keep everything. Decluttering is my biggest tip for you bees, but also you need to give things a home. Bees have a tendency of lining things up on their surfaces or making really neat piles because they wanna see it, they wanna leave it out, but those piles can quickly become a mess. Things can get knocked over, and before you know it, it just looks like mess. Using lots of clear containers or open shelving to dedicate a home for your stuff is key to organizing success. I love these stackable drawer systems. They're so perfect for a bee. Make sure you slap on a label. I'm gonna put a link below where I got all of these containers from the container store, but now let's organize for a ladybug. A ladybug is a hidden organizer that needs big broad categories. So the perfect organizing solution is going with big baskets without any lids because a ladybug needs to just toss their things away. That's the big difference between a ladybug and a cricket. They both want things behind closed doors, but a ladybug isn't gonna take the time to sort their medicine by pain reliever and antacid and allergy like a cricket. They're just gonna toss it in the medicine bin. And that's okay, that's being organized too. And I think this is why it's so important to know your style, to know that you're not messy. You just organize differently. Here are some of my favorite tips for organizing for a ladybug. I am a ladybug, so I relate to this style more than any other style. We are shover and hiders. We do not want to see our stuff, but we also won't take the time to put something away if it's hard. So if we have to open a lid, that's not happening, which is why we just tend to shove our closets full. We need baskets, we need sorted containers. So when we open up a door, we can still toss and shove, but they go into sorted categories so it stays organized. So lots of bins and baskets and lots of drawer dividers is how a ladybug keeps their hidden areas tidy and organized. I love these gray baskets from the container store and I'm gonna put a link down below so you can learn more about them if you're a ladybug too. Knowing your organizing style is really just about knowing yourself, knowing what works and what doesn't and why, but more importantly, it's about confidence. If you have a different organizing style than your parents or society's idea of what organization should look like, even as a child, you probably were told you were messy, you felt messy, you failed over and over again, and you've given up and you've developed bad habits, and your bad habits aren't gonna change overnight just because you change your system, but now there's hope. You can use a system that really works with the way you naturally organize, and you can try again, and you can learn new habits, and you can finally stay 
organized. You probably have people who live in your home that don't organize the way that you do. They're not being disrespectful, they just organize differently. I hope this opens up a conversation with you and your family and we can finally stop trying to put everybody in this box, right? This organizing box where society says, this is the way it's supposed to look and we can make our own organizing container that works for our home and ourselves. A big thanks again to The Container Store for partnering on this video and supplying all the amazing containers to really show the difference for each of the styles. I'm gonna put a link to everything I used down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I don't really have a funny story for you. I haven't really gone anywhere, but I thought I would talk about something I find really fascinating. So Emily started working for me a couple of months ago and she's young and she's on the dating scene. New age dating. I've been with my husband for over 20 years. Dating today is so bananas to me. I'm sure you guys know, but it. I like to live vicariously through her. So she shows me her dating apps. It's like shopping for boys. It's swiping, you know, he's cute. He, nope, I'll buy him. I'll take one of him. I'll take one of him. I'll get a side of him. Nope, nope, nope. Yes, yes, yes. I love shopping, okay? I love swiping. I love shopping online. I don't want to start dating, don't get me wrong. But this is a crazy concept to me that you can literally shop for a boyfriend online. But also, they always tell us not to judge a book by its cover. We're literally judging a book by its cover. There could be a, a less attractive dude that has an amazing personality, but you wouldn't know because you're knowing him. So, I, I mean, I don't know. This works. I know a ton of people who have met people online and they got married and they've lived happily ever after, but it's a foreign concept to me. Not the shopping online. I definitely got that down. But shopping for a boy online is... I don't know, is it just because I'm old? Let me know in the comments below if you also find this odd, but also fascinating. And it's like, do I wanna try it, not to date, but just to like download the app and make up a thing just so I can shop? No, that's weird. It's weird, right? It's weird, but also I have Emily so I can help her shop online. It's been fun, it's been really fun and weird so far. But anyways, this is random. I just wanted to get your thoughts of this online boyfriend shopping thing. Does it seem cool or does it seem like really shallow? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time.